Hi guys, it's Derek from Pacific Coast Auto here. We're taking a look at a Toyota Hiace. This one here is a 1993 model, and it's the 1KZN 3000cc turbo diesel engine version. And that's a little bit special because uh, this car is now just barely legal for the USA. Basically, as of next month, they are legal. Uh, they are a good amount better than the 2.8 liter or the 2.4 liter that come before it because this engine is super sweet. Now this one has 200,000 kilometers on it. It was bought from auction here in Japan and we're going to be exporting this one to the USA. And we send a lot of Hiaces to the USA but not a lot of them make it on the channel. So this is going to be an interesting video for people who don't know much about these excellent vans. These are one of the best vehicles that ever existed and it's a shame that they don't make Hiaces as good as they used to. The new ones are still good. They're good industrial vehicles but the coolness of the passenger versions has all gone away in my mind along with the diesel engines. Okay, so here's the auction inspection sheet. I'm going to go over this and translate it first off. So it's a 1993 Highest Wagon. This is a Super Custom Limited. And so this one has the uh, special third option of the seats in the back, as well has lots of sunroofs. It has four of them. I'll just go up so that you can see. So one regular sunroof there, a super large one in there, and then two on the back. The one in the middle opens by sliding completely. The one on the back tilts open, but it tilts open really far. Uh, the only thing is, is with the system that we have in place here, you wouldn't be able to open it because of the roof racks. Uh, you could slide those roof racks forward a bit so that you could open this, but I guess that wasn't uh, on the mind of the person who owned this previously. But this one tilts open like quite a bit and then acts as a super spoiler. Maybe, I don't know, this one has an extra spoiler too. Two spoilers on a van. Okay, so we're gonna be doing outside, inside, and all the way around, but uh, before we do that, everything from here is gonna be translated. So 196,074 kilometers. Seems a little bit high, but these high aces have a very good longevity. A lot of very high mileage ones are used around the world. It's a diesel 3000 cc, and you can tell because it's a KZH is the chassis code, in, uh, instead of like um, LH which is the one before it. So this one comes with roof rack, grill guard, and power seats. And then looking at the report here, it says the console has one part, has a hole, and so that's basically where the CD player would go. Uh, electric folding mirrors don't work, and that's true. Uh, this also says the sunroof doesn't work, but I think they're just referring to the um, one in the back, because I did test them and the motors work. Rear, under, uh, rear lower section has been modified and the uh, trunk has been modified as well. Interior is dirty. And then looking at the sheet here, we have a crack on the tail light here, some scratches here and here. And then the rest of the body is quite good. There are actually a few more scratches than I was expecting on here, but it uh, looks, like, looks like the previous owner had been taking care of the car properly and fixing any of the scratches with touch-up paint. And then the condition of the paint is good. It is a little bit wavy in, space, in spots for where it has been repainted but nothing of it is distracting. As you can see here, it's a nice looking beige two-tone. Kind of the perfect color for this vehicle, come to think of it. Okay, so 106 chassis is the short one with the low roof. You can get the high ace in a lot of different body styles, but the passenger version of it, which is this one, it generally comes uh, just as the 106. And it's an eight seater inside. Uh, no, they do come in eight seaters. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a seven seater one because it has a third option, center seats, which are kind of the movie theater seats. And I'll show you when we get in there. For this generation, it is full time four wheel drive. So not selectable like the earlier models are. It's up to you whether you think that that's super cool or not as cool. I got the yellow fog lights on right now. I love the look of that. And then it looks like we have some HID headlight conversion in the front as well. Okay, damages. So the front bumper is actually quite clean. Rock chips um, are, are a common thing on there. Usually this paint isn't as good as the rest of the car. Uh, it does have like, like there's a scuff that was repainted on here. There's a scuff down here. <laughs> that guy that's driving by is actually the daycare provider for my son's daycare. Uh, a seal here on the windshield was extra sealed by the looks of it. And going down here is pretty good. There is a, uh, this is the A3. It's a long one, but it's shallow, and so it's nothing that I would worry about. 
couple of places of touch-up paint down here. And then this one here is the one that they call the A2, but it's actually more damaging than the A3. You can see it's touch-up painted there. Okay, the back bumper has some scuffs on it. It's generally not that bad. Cracking the tail light. Super custom limited. I do like the look of that. It's cool that the like the badge is a 3D plastic badge underneath this cover, and so when you touch it, it's all smooth. It's cool. 3.0 D EFI Turbo. It's kind of a perfect combination, isn't it? Turbo four-wheel drive minivan with raised suspension. It's kind of raised. Uh, this suspension is the stock, but it looks higher than most vehicles of this kind of minivan look. So some dents there. I really wish that garbage truck down there would park somewhere else. He comes around every day at one o'clock and stinks up the neighborhood. And I wanna, I wanna work stinky free. Tires are 2006, but they have 80% of their tread, which is really weird, leading me to believe that the car hasn't actually driven very much in the last little while. And then the underside looks all clean and nice, which is good, because you wanna be careful of rust and corrosion on these high aces. So this one has the brown splotchy color interior I quite like it I do love the color brown on interiors and the high ace interior is just so fun and so different from everything else missing a speaker cover there and oddly no speaker on the other door strange okay so let's go in and take a look at this power seat forward and backward that's cool and there's an option where if you turn the key off then it moves the seat to the full back position so it's easier to get in and out of that's nice. Steering has the same option for tilt, but the steering column on this one is actually loose. Have a look. See that? And because of that, the tilt steering doesn't work unless you kind of give it a little shake. And when you're driving, you'll notice that this shakes a little bit. So that's going to need to be repaired. I'm just going to turn the fog lamps off so that we can see this. The digital gauge set in here is awesome. Look what happens when you rev. So the tachometer there is all full LCD and it's 3D. It has some things on this glass here and then everything else is down below further. You can kind of see there. Very Toyota-like. The cell, ooh, that's nice. The Celsius does the same thing. Seat is in good condition. A lot of these high aces have cigarette smokers that drive them. I don't know what it is, but uh, this one doesn't have any cigarette burns on it. Let's hop in, shag carpet double shag look there's light shag for people just getting into shag and deep shag for those who love the deep shag okay AC is auto AC and it works and it's good there's also rear AC which I believe has its own compressor and AC system joyful talk what's that push on turn the volume up and then you can talk to the people in the back because I guess it's a bit of a gimmick you could shout to the people back there but uh, you have an intercom system. Cool. Hey kids, stop fighting back there or I'm pulling over to the side of the road and we're going back home. No Disneyland for you. I imagine joyful talk is only used in times of anger. Has been smoked in, it doesn't smell like cigarettes inside, that's good. The shifting works well, brakes work well, power steering works well. The power curtains work, but they're all tied up right now so you can't actually see it. But that's cool, power curtains. Uh, there are models of them that come with a water boiler that goes here for boiling your water for tea. Very cool. And a fridge inside here. And this one doesn't have either of those options, but it does have the joyful talk, so you can get your anger out. How come there's no fridge in this one? I'm so angry. Dad, there's nobody in the back. Okay, so this one here is tilt and it's manual. Tilt only and manual. Okay, and these are controls for the other two sunroofs. And I already tested them, so I'm not going to test them now. And you sit up right on top of the wheels. It feels really cool. And then your seating position is up really high compared to other vehicles. And so it does feel cool when you can look down on everybody else. <laughs> okay, uh, up here has like foam installed in it. And it's turned to orange because the paint on the foam has come off. But that's not actually rust. Uh, it might have some rust in it in some places though. Okay, going into the back here. So the, this 
center seat section can spin around and point in the other direction if you want to have limo seating. It has the <coughs> armrests that are st stiff in it, which is different from the regular. Uh, there is a bench seat that you can have in this, uh, or I guess there's a different style of bench seat, and then there's this one, um, which spins around. That's cool. There are armrests that come down, and then you can use this function here uh, to do something. I don't know. Well, don't really know at all. <clears throat> Place for cups. And then secret hidden box. And inside, what do we have? Skin Guard Extra. Double powder day. Hmm. Outdoor sports. Gardening. You can use it. Is that like a bug spray? And yes, every car needs a sweatshirt that's been cut up and <laughs> turned into a rag. I'll leave that in as a present. There's controls for your AC down there, and then you get big AC vents up there and controls for it as well. And then look at that big sunroof. It's huge, and it takes a long time to open. And there's a button here to open it as well. And look at the size of that interior lamp. Nice and big. Okay, pull this up, and then you can get in. Now, these seats here are in the full forward position, giving you the least amount of leg room of all and that's to give you a bigger trunk area. And you can move it like two feet or so, forward or back, so you can get an, a lot of room in here if you want. This is regular position, so it's comfortable. It's about the same as a Greyhound bus in terms of uh, leg room. Greyhound bus or whatever else it's called. And then pull this up. It bounces itself forward. Curtain controls in the back, that's cool. And here's what the extra sunroofs look like. There are two sunroofs, even though it's one piece of glass. It's two. Uh, two holes, I guess. Put the seat back into a position. It's a little bit more wobbly than it usually is. I don't think that it's locked into place like it's supposed to be. And then somebody modified the back end here. And so, let's give you a look. The underside here, that's the modification that they're talking about, but I don't quite understand why you would want to have that metal welded onto there. It doesn't seem to be any sort of purpose for that. Um, oh, I guess that's it. I guess they had a trailer piece in there? I don't know. That's the modification, though, that they were talking about. I still don't understand what it's for. And then look at all that space. You could probably fit my entire family in there and have space for someone else's entire family. It wouldn't be a comfortable ride, but you could do it. Okay, and this is rigid, rigidly mounted, and so you would have to uninstall it if you wanted to move that. And then there's a storage box under there as well, as you can see, and some sort of rack put up here that's also been rigidly mounted. And for some reason, plexiglass and a net. And I can't quite understand why you would want that plexiglass and a net there. On roofs. Okay, so Toyota High Ace van. Uh, this one, higher mileage, condition is generally uh, not that bad, needs to be cleaned out. That's weird. I'm gonna fix that after the video is over. Okay, and a popular import to the USA, especially with a 3 liter diesel now, is gonna get even more popular. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.